Let's go over a basic one PC streaming setup with GoXLR. We're going to assume that you've downloaded the driver and the app, you've got them installed, and your device is powered up and connected to your computer. So you're gonna use the USB cable to connect to your computer and the power, power the thing up. It should be ready to rock. Now we'll make all the other connections. First things first is your XLR connection. It goes right into the XLR input there and goes to your XLR microphone. Right next to that is a line in. Now you can use that for pretty much anything you want that's an external audio source. So it could just be your phone playing music or anything like that that wants to come in in stereo via 3.5 millimeter. If you don't have an XLR mic yet, we've still got you covered. There's a pink mic in jack that will work with a headset and coincidentally can also be connected to the analog headset output of a Yeti mic if you wanted to plug that in before you get an XLR mic. We'll cover that in a different video though. Right next to that pink mic input is your typical headphone output. And you'll actually notice underneath GoXLR is this little channel here. It actually lets you run your headphone cable right under the unit and it comes right out in front of you so you don't have to wrap it around and make it all uncomfortable. Right next to the headphone output is a line output. If you want a copy of your broadcast stream in stereo to go wherever you like, that's the jack you're gonna use. We'll cover that in the two PC setup later on. Lastly, you've got an optical input right here. So if you're sending lasers from your PlayStation or your Xbox, this is where you connect it. That about wraps it up. In the most basic setup you have, I'm gonna take this one away here. You actually just have power, headphones, USB, and your XLR microphone. Pretty simple.